of God's will is by shedding on him. The next thing he does, he reveals the deep things of God to us through our regenerated spirit. First Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11. First Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11. The responsibility of the Holy Spirit is to reveal the things of God into our regenerated spirit. The Bible said in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11, For what man knoweth the things of God, of man? Save the spirit of man which is in him, talking the aspect of man. Even so, the things of God knoweth no man, but the spirit of God. Hallelujah. So the Holy Spirit searches the mind of God every day concerning your life, concerning where you are going, concerning your destiny. And the Bible said that he revealed that into our regenerated spirit. I say that because if you are not born again, it's going to be difficult for you to hear the Holy Spirit. It's spirit, spirit communication. The spirit must be regenerated. Hallelujah. The spirit must be regenerated. It's just an antenna for you to hear the spirit of God and communicate the back to our spirit. So he helps us. He enables us in our work with God in relationship in fulfilling our plan and purpose and destiny in life by revealing things, the deep things of God through our spirit. Hallelujah. He does that. The next thing he does for us, he empowers our spirit for spiritual victory and divine direction. He empowers our spirit for spiritual victory and divine direction. It's the responsibility of the spirit, of the Holy Ghost, to empower our spirit. Try this. Whenever you down, begin to, for those of you that speak in tongues, that are filled with the Holy Spirit, start praying in the Holy Ghost. Before you know it, you will see that your spirit will immediately receive transformation and empowerment. Immediately. Begin to speak in the Holy Spirit. Before you know it, you are out of that Confusion. He empowers our mind for spiritual victory and divine direction. Hallelujah. He empowers our mind. The next thing he does for us is that he also empowers our soul for spiritual understanding. Isaiah chapter 11, verse 13. Isaiah chapter 11 verse 13. Isaiah chapter 11 verse 13. He empowers our soul or our mind for supernatural understanding. Hallelujah. The Bible says, Every also of Ephraim shall be by, and there the vices of Jerusalem, Judah will be cut off. Ephraim shall not be envy of Judah and Ephraim. I think that's, that probably is not the, the, the scripture I'm looking for. Hallelujah. Is that verse 1? He empowers 11 verse 13. Is that 11 verse 13? Yes. Okay, I'll find that scripture for you. The next thing he does, he gives us the spirit of mind to do more than our natural ability can accomplish. He gives us the spirit of mind so that, and that is transmitted into our life. Go back to that Isaiah chapter 11, verse 2. He gives us the spirit of mind so that we'll be able to accomplish the things. And the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. Hallelujah. The spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. And when that spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, what will become of that? That spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and the might, the spirit of knowledge and wisdom. You can never be in fellowship or in dialogue with the 
Holy Spirit and they be a foolish Christian. Because one of the attributes of the Holy Spirit, one of the fruit of the Holy Spirit and the gift of the Holy Spirit is wisdom. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. He empowers us. He empowers us supernaturally in order for us to begin to operate at the level that is above human wisdom and human knowledge. Hallelujah. I love the Holy Ghost. I love the Holy Spirit. Now, let me stop here and say some things here about the Holy Spirit. There is a difference between the person of the Holy Ghost, the presence of the Holy Spirit, and the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. There is a difference between you knowing me having my presence and seeing how I operate. Hallelujah. Human beings generally have an information which is knowledge. Everybody has knowledge. But instead, it's not everybody that has understanding. And it's not everybody that has wisdom. Hallelujah. Knowledge for the fact that you have knowledge about something does not mean that you understand that thing. A true knowledge is actually a working understanding. How many of you have cell phone? You know about cell phone. Mm -hmm. But to be honest with you, that is a general knowledge. If your cell phone messes up, go for me. You know that your knowledge is limited. All you have is information. Hallelujah. It's the same way a lot of people have knowledge about the Holy Ghost. They don't understand the Holy Spirit. His attribute, his operation, his presence. Hallelujah. So knowledge is general information. Everybody has that. Everybody knows about computer. Everybody probably has one, has one at home. But when the computer breaks down, then you are test of knowledge. It is online. Hallelujah. So in order for us, the reason I'm going somewhere with this, is for you to begin to enjoy the help that the Holy Ghost, God has given the Holy Ghost, and empower the Holy Ghost in your life. It's not about knowing the Holy Ghost. You have to understand the Holy Spirit. Understanding is apply a working knowledge. When the knowledge is at work, when knowledge can produce something, then you have understanding. Hallelujah. When knowledge is at work, now you can now have you say yes, understand this. How many of you really Christians? There are Christians that since they are born again, or maybe few with the Holy Spirit, they have not had one time the Holy Spirit spoke to them. How do you differentiate the voice of the Holy Spirit, your own voice, and the voice of what you see around you? It's talking about understanding the Holy Spirit. And when you say people that God speak to me, they you become an subject of argument. Because a lot of people have never understood the Holy Spirit and how it works. Hallelujah. So in the Wednesday or so, we're going to look at the person of the Holy Spirit, the presence of the Holy Spirit, and the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Because God has given us all these things in order to take us to the next level. Life is supposed not to be a struggle in Christ. Hallelujah. God has made everything available through redemptive power in order for us to excel in life. Hallelujah. Please stand with me. Stand with me. Father, we love you. Holy Ghost, we give you praise. I want you to lift up your voice and say, My Father, my Lord, I can't hear you. My Father, as I begin this study, 
of the Holy Spirit. My help, my help, who thou hast given to guide me in the issues of life. Lord, empower me. Grant me discipline to think deeper about the Holy Spirit. Holy Ghost, manifest yourself in my life. Holy Spirit, let me hear you even for one time. Lord, Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus, begin to pray. Father, in Jesus' name. Lord, in the name of Jesus, pray.
we thank you today. Today is the first service, the service of celebration. 